Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm taking a look at the uh, A4E-C community mod of the Skyhawk, or as known by the pilots, the Scooter. Um, it's a pretty cool module. It is a free module. It's probably one of the best free modules that you can get your hands on uh, for DCS World. It is an air-to-air -air and an air-to-ground plane. Uh, the air-to-air -air capabilities are pretty limited with uh, GAR 8s, I believe, which are like the old-school Sidewinders, and I think it has AIM 9P and AIM 9PS Sidewinders. However, it does carry um, a huge arsenal of air-to-ground stuff, and that's what makes it really fun at times. You've got everything from rockets to, uh, what is it, the Shrike AGM-54? air-to-ground missile, um, napalm canisters, CBUs, um, dumb bombs, pretty much a huge arsenal of stuff to mess with. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm putting together a series of videos, uh, little bits and pieces here and there instead of trying to give it to you all at once. Uh, but it is pretty cool and it is worth checking out and uh, Nice thing about this is, is if you know, if you're wanting to see what the capabilities of the pot or the possibilities of DCS are, and uh, you're really not feeling it with the SU-25 and the free T-51, and you have a friend that wants to get into DCS, have them download DCS and have them download the A4 and plug it in, and um, it has a clickable cockpit. Not everything is clickable in the cockpit. I would say it's probably a 90% clickable cockpit some of the stuff doesn't animate right um, but it's not a mess by any means it's just a work in progress I think is what it comes down to because the cockpit looks beautiful uh, and you know I can go in there and click things and set things up and do things just like I would in most of the other high fidelity modules um, I think the difference is is people have said the flight model and avionics isn't full fidelity like you know some of the other modules and DCS is. I'd say they're a step above FC3 which is the Flaming Cliffs 3 stuff. So there is that. So let's take a look. And this is a very familiar map here. Turn up the light in the cockpit. It's a little nicer like this, doesn't it? Just grab this knob over here and twist away. So now we can actually take a look around in the cockpit. And uh, as you can see, it's um, nice. It's just as nice as any of the other modules, you know? Uh, I really don't see anything to complain about. I think the difference is, is while the majority of the things in here are clickable, there are some things that aren't. Let me set myself up here so I can look around. Um, you know, your throttle moves, your stick moves, that kind of thing. Uh, some things just don't click, though, like these guys. Or this moves. That doesn't do anything. This moves. This moves. This doesn't move this doesn't move. That moves. So there's a variety of things that, you know, are clickable but aren't clickable. Now, most of the important things that you need to do will work. So, just like if I was in the F5, you know, you've got all these stations here. If I want to utilize what's hanging off stations 1 and 5, I'll flip those up. I'll move to bombs and GM arm. I'll turn the master arm switch on. This is step and ripple over here. This is the drop interval. There's my guns. Master arm switch. This is the number I want to drop. So, it'll be familiar to you if you're used to these older planes. So, one of the things that the A4 can do as well is it could be launched from a carrier and it can be recovered from a carrier so you can land and do carrier operations. Uh, it's a little hokey. 
uh, what you got to do is I'm, I got my foot on the brake right now and hopefully it'll hold and uh, I believe it's left alt and one to hook up because you're not hooked up from the start okay now I'm hooked in but I had to hit left alt and one and it doesn't even look like I'm hooked in so there's that as well which is kinda weird so we are ready to go um, there is a key I think it's left alt 2 to launch with but if I just hit the throttle forward it should shoot me up so let's see how that goes yeah there we go kinda does a crappy job <laughs> it shot me kinda sideways off of there if you noticed gear up now what I don't know is if you don't own the Hornet or the Tomcat will you even have the carrier object at your disposal to use I don't know if that's something that comes with DCS or if that's something that you know you've got to own a Hornet or a Tomcat to even get the object to begin with But it is pretty cool, and it is a nice part of the overall experience. Alrighty, I'm here in the mission editor. Let's take a look at the A4E in terms of what it can carry. Now, I just have ground attack chosen right now, so it gives me a, a different variety of stuff. But let's just click these uh, stations, and you'll see... So on the outermost pylons, it looks like you can have any of these AN models, which are old 60s, 70s technology bombs. Uh, then you begin with Mark 20s, Mark 77s, which I believe are Napalm, Mark 81s, Mark 82, Mark 82 Snake Eyes. Then if you go to missiles, you've got the AGM-45A. That's your anti-radiation Shrike missile. So it's even got that, which is pretty cool. Uh, smoke pods various flavors of rocket which is pretty cool let's go to the next pylon so our air-to-air -air roll is limited to sidewinders uh, gar eights are the old unreliable sidewinders then we have the 9p and 9p5 variety not sure what the difference is between the two but my understanding is the p5 is the newer one and that's the one to use now if we look at bombs we got agm 62 What's it, a television guided bomb? I think that's the walleye too. And then you have all these ANs again. You have an M117, uh, Mark 20s, Mark 77, Mod 0 and 1. Not sure what the difference is there. Various flavors of Mark 81, Mark 82, all the way through 83 and 84. Fuel tanks, missiles again, AGM 45, Shrike. Pods. Now, these are cluster bombs. The pod stays on the plane, but they empty out and shoot these clusters, you know, down at the targets. Um, I was noticing a graphic anomaly when I would select these where it wouldn't actually show the pods underneath of the uh, wings. Uh, it showed like a piece of the rear of the pod, but the rest of the pod was missing. Kind of weird. And then Mark IV high peg. Not sure what that is. Of course, many more varieties of rockets again and then your middle station I think I think that might be the gun pod there's there's gun pods for this thing too I haven't set those up yet messed with them and if we jump down here we can take a look at all the flavors of uh, skins or liveries if you will offered various Blue Angel skins as the A4 was part of the Blue Angels for a number of years. Argentine, Australian Navy, uh, Community A4E, Israel, Kuwait, RNZAF, what's that, Royal New Zealand, uh, Trainer, USMC, AE Systems, Unmarked, Top Gun as a MiG-17, uh, 
all the USMC varieties, Diamondbacks, Avengers, Tomcats, Fighter Weapons School for USN, USN Top Gun, USN Saints, Dam Busters, War Horses, uh, Fleet Compron 1, whatever that is, Tally Hoers, Red Tails, Bandits, Royal Blues, Cyclones, Cyclone C, Eagles, ooh, that's a nice one, I think I'm going to stick with that guy. So that, let's see, is that the end of the line for them? Yeah, the Eagles is the last one. Um, that's pretty much your loadout and, and what this thing is capable of carrying. So your air-to-ground stuff is going to be limited to uh, sidewinders, which is fine. I mean, basically, that's all the Harrier gets at the moment, too. Technically, this is like a little bitty, you know, zippy little Harrier, if you think about it, without the V-Stole capabilities, because it's just an air-to-ground beast, and it has the ability to protect itself with guns and sidewinders. Only thing is, this is free. So, there's the exact bug I'm talking about. I actually have, I think, Napalm loaded. But if you're looking at the pylons, there's nothing there. There's nothing on those wing stations, but they're loaded. Kind of weird. Not sure what the deal is with that. So the music you've been hearing all along is the uh, music that comes with the A4 mod, which I thought was kind of cool. It's got a pretty cool vibe to it. So. I think that about covers it for part one, or the introduction to the A4E community mod. I wanted to go through some of its capabilities, uh, some of the issues that I've noticed. There's not too many, uh, but there are some graphic anomalies for sure. And then lastly, if you look at content, so if we go to instant action, there's really only three missions for the A4E under the default map. Nothing for Nevada, Normandy, Persian Golf. And if you go to Mission, and you go to the, where's it at? That's weird. Am I blind? Or is it just not listed here? <laughs> so, I'm unable to access the A4 from the Missions tab. That's the first time I've ever noticed that. I've made missions for the A4. I can load my missions, but there's no you know, heading for A4 here, or a listing, you know, to select the A4 icon. Interesting. Pretty sure there's no campaigns either. It's, you know, that doesn't show up in the missions listing. It's definitely not showing up in the campaigns. Um, that's not to say that you can't download missions that are created for it or create your own. Because I have been able to use the you know, create fast mission generator, and then like one of my previous videos where I show you how to you know create a mission by using the correct the create fast mission generator, then editing it with the mission editor to create a pretty cool mission pretty fast uh, is probably the way to do it with the A4. So um, I think that's about it for the A4 for now. Uh, I have a few other videos in the works where I'm like highlighting the air to air capabilities, highlighting the to ground capabilities with maybe a video on rockets, another video on ground pounding over the Persian Gulf, and uh, I have some ideas for a couple more as well. But I really wanted to highlight this because I think it's a it's a highly underrated mod that's free. And uh, like I said before earlier in the video, if you've got a friend that you know you want to try to convince to get into DCS, and uh, you know the, the Su-25 is you know intimidating. The, TF-51 is just lame, you know, those are the free planes you get with DCS. Uh, they really don't impress anybody, I don't think, to, as a good way to get somebody turned on to this game. Uh, I think the A4 might be the ticket. Uh, it is cool, it's, uh, it's realistic, but it's not as realistic as the super high fidelity stuff. 
Uh, it's a step above FC3 planes, but it's a nice way, I think, to introduce somebody to the game. So, as always, uh, keep, keep watching. There's more of these videos to come on the A4. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to hit that subscribe and like button. And until next time.